Good day to all of you. I am so happy that you have given the time to participate in this mini conference entitled Ite et Docete, Strategies and Approaches to Teaching Religious and Values Education During Online Distance Learning. I am so proud of our Savior School Grade School Christian Life Education Department for organizing this mini conference during our summer break. We were all so tired after our Savior School academic year ended in March, and this is supposed to be a time of rest before we start again uh, in a week and a half or so and start, for, start preparing for the next uh, school year. And yet they have spent their time preparing this mini conference for all of us. You know, as a Jesuit and a priest, after eight years at Savior School, it has always been a lingering question for me how we should teach religious education, specifically Catholic religious education, in basic education in the 21st century. Inside of me, I can feel the tension between wanting to impart so much uh, religious knowledge, you know, the catechism, especially the social teachings of the church, um, bioethics, but also very basic uh, ideas about the, the, the Bible uh, and Catholic teaching. And I realized that there is so much content that we would like to share with our young people. And we lament it, we complain when, we are, when they are already all grown up and we see evidence that they don't remember or they don't know what we taught them about uh, Catholic religious education. So this is a big, big concern for all of us. So on the one hand, there is so much content that we want to share with them. On the other hand, we also know that religious education, values education, is not about memorizing things in your head. It's about living out the values, living out your faith in Jesus Christ and in the Holy and Blessed Trinity, God, Father, Son, and Spirit, and our devotion to Mary and the saints and all of that. So there is always this tension, and I think it will be an ongoing tension. Now, enter the pandemic, and we have new challenges. How do we do all of this? You know, keeping that tension, but then doing it in an online setting. For many schools, you know, the time we have during online distance learning for Christian life education, values education, has become very limited. And that's a reality we face. Of course, we'll try to address that in the coming school year. But maybe it's also a reminder to us that values and faith um, is not only learned in an academic way and not only during the religious education class. Our concern for the life of faith for living out our cherished values must permeate all our endeavors in all subject areas. And therefore, that's an invitation to, to all teachers to really be formators as well. My own instinct is that during online distance learning, we need to be creative and innovative in, in strategies, in using technology towards our end. You know, St. Ignatius had this idea that you have to enter through their world and then and exit through ours, meaning learn the technology, learn the current trends, learn the current platforms, enter into it so that you can engage the young people. But don't stay there. It's not for the sake of being popular, of being cool. You enter through that door so you can exit through ours. And that is our desire to impart faith, to impart values to our young people. So I encourage you to continue being open, being innovative, being creative uh, in, in, in exploring and experimenting with various strategies. And maybe, especially during online distance learning, we have to be more indifferent in the Ignatian sense of letting go, no? Uh, a lot of content we want to share, but maybe at this time, we have to limit it to what is really essential. No, not a lot of things to memorize, not a lot of head knowledge, but really application. No, because I think it contributes to the mental wellness, to the well-being of our youth, if they can draw on their relationship with Jesus Christ, on their life of faith, on their spirituality, to cope with all the changes brought about by the pandemic. And we all know how difficult it is after more than one year of trying to cope, trying to thrive in a pandemic environment. 
and for from what we see right now it seems this will continue in the coming academic year so we have to take care of ourselves our own life of faith our own values so that we can share so that we can infect others our young people not with the virus but with that spirit of faith in jesus christ that spirit of hope that we hold on to latch on to especially during this easter season in the last seven days you know in the philippines we saw the birth of so many community pantries people helping other people you know at a very local very grassroots level you know that's the kind of thing we want to inspire in our young people that they will be so concerned about others that they will try to do something about it and that's what uh, miss non miss patreng non uh, tried to do and the, and the idea just exploded in a good way in such a very short span of time so again thank you very much to all of you for your participation keep on going keep on thriving during this pandemic and again thank you very much to savior school great school cle department for bringing this to all of us god bless you all